you just lay the rules for for taxes for 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 registration of companies ease of doing business and this is one area that nigeria needs to fast track the business environment in a way that will help young businesses grow we're yeah. talking about the yaba our own Silicon Valley in Yaba, Nigeria, for example. How long are we going to keep those boys there without giving them the opportunity to, 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 to give vents to their creative energy uh, and allow them to fly as they want to, like you have in, 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 in Silicon Valley, as in India as well, for startups across Africa. So these are the key issues that were uh, uh, in terms of discussion. There. Perhaps over time, the private sector will be able to continue to to peel off the weight of political governance on business, on, on corporate governance, and, and let businesses run the way they should. Well, in terms of the ease of doing business, of course, you know there's a 60-day national plan, and uh, just mm. yesterday was 30 days, so they gave a kind of mid-term report. And it seems as if they're, they're making good progress, especially in terms of ease in checking company names and registering your business and the likes of it. But by the end of the 60 days, we'll really get to know. Yeah, I, I, heard, I saw on social media, one of it is also online registration yes. uh, and, and payment for renewal of your driver's license. Mm -hmm. So things are getting a little better. And well, it was still, like, still at like an incubation period. You're looking at 180 million people and, and a, struck, a system that's been dysfunctional over decades. decades. So it's still early days yet. We need to see more of broad-based, heavy, impactful process and results. Then Nigerians can across the... Uh, we still need, for example, I'll give you one. Registration of businesses or business registration should not be done in Abuja or in Lagos, the capital. If I want to yeah, register right, business... I do it online now. I do just do it in a, from a local government. From my local government, and I've said this repeatedly, I don't need to go to any state capital to renew my driver, my international passport. I should be able to do it online from my town, my village, and I said, just do it online from my bedroom, and please bring it to me. Don't ask me to come to your office to But that's what's happening it. now. That's what's happened in the last 30 days of this national plan. According to the... I just came back. I guess I'm missing it. <laughs> According to the PEVC, uh, now you can successfully go online to the CAC portal mm. and register, check for your business name, of course, first of all, do the mm. registration, and do all the necessary submission, get even the stamp you need, and so so you really don't need to go all the way to Abuja or come to Lagos, for instance, to get any of that done. But by the end of 60 days, we'll see how really practical if it you is. Look, if you look Can at the CAC, website if you look hold at the volume of people, the volume of traffic that will be coming to it? If, to you, look, if you look at registered. CAC, for example, I tell you, if you're talking about any success with the CAC today, it started two, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. And that I can authoritatively tell you. And you talk to the man who is the chairman of the CAC and the Registrar General in CAC. The process, the result of what you see today did not happen in the last 30 days. The CAC had been reforming and moving and upscaling its practices over time and operations over the last three, four, five, six, seven years. So what you see today as far as business registration is concerned. But again, you still need, you, now what we do with the business registration, for example, with the CAC, is it goes to a central portal. It should be signed by at the state to whatever level. That's part of what I'm still saying. Because right now, whatever you're doing, everything, all registrations you're doing is going to Abuja Average. in Abuja. a central system. So that is still not seriously ease of doing things. Can I go to my local government in Ikeja or in Kogi State and say, I register for a business and I get that certificate signed and received in that local government and not processed from Abuja, the federal capital territory. Now, that is ease of doing business. On, in, on land matters, we need to have the same thing in, on land matters. I don't need, we don't need to go all the way to the governor or whoever to be able to get that done. We should be able to do them at the municipal level or call it local government so that People, women, for example, want to set up small businesses, artisans, can just move on. Cooperative societies, you don't need to wait and pay some lawyers, some exorbitant fees, come today, come tomorrow, before women can form cooperative societies for farmers who are in businesses to form a, 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 a credit union of their own, 
right and move on very quickly with 50,000 100,000 naira and they just get things done so just knock on your local government we need to decentralize this in the power sector you need the same thing we're still licensing everybody wants to do power in Abuja you need to move it down to local government or to the state government in which you can do crowdfunding in my village in number of villages and say we're sending up this small one you have the local government what do we have local government for they should have the capability of oversight time because they are and an arm of the government. Therefore, you need local governments to be able to say, we're doing this small power sector project in two, three, four villages in Oyo State, in Oshu, in Kebi State, and it's going to generate X, Y. So give us, okay. set up, send your team from the local government, which is next distance to them, and inspect, look at the safety standards, whatever, and we can just do it. And it's done in Georgia. In Eastern Europe, it's done elsewhere in the world. All right, so Boston, let's uh, let's wrap up this uh, Africa CEO forum conversation because apparently all of this is still coming out from listening to various CEOs at that particular forum. What about the women? You mentioned getting the women the entrepreneurs. Mm. Yes, and I know that there was a high-level panel uh, focused on women technology as well. But, yeah, at the World Economic Forum, uh, it's, it's all about women. They say women are the new investment. Uh, um, uh, uh, fund. Should, are you buying today? Yes, I'm buying. Uh, if we invest in women, you're investing in the future. And, uh, and it's uh, not just a cliche. And it's just, it's not, no, it's not just a cliche okay. for a number of reasons. Women are a lot more quote unquote responsible. <laughs> uh, are you folks out there? I'm saying this, uh, <laughs> yes, with money. Uh, it's done. Ask them in Mexico. They know how to do it. The social funds are given to wives, not to husbands. Because the man may just end up in a beer parlor or whatever before he gets home and the safety allowance for the month has disappeared. So if you want to give safety uh, social fund in Nigeria, give it to the wives, not to the husbands. Uh, because how many women do you find in the beer parlor? Married women who have children at home. Mostly, I'm not going to give you a safety net, but I'm going to make sure that we end this conversation here before you put yourself in any more trouble. trouble. With the men folk. Yes, because I can see some very bad looks coming your way already. But Boston, thank you so much for coming My on the pleasure. program and welcome back thank from you. Geneva as well. Business Morning continues in just a moment. We're talking still about the markets. Stay with us.